hungry cookie. Hmm? Would you like one too, Kara Wong? You can have one too. There you go. More for you, cookie. You're a hungry bird today, aren't you? Quack, quack for the duck. Did you finish all your seed, duck? Hey guys, welcome back. I've just done that big swipe and I've got some leftover paint and while I've still got a mess here, I've just got this older scraped canvas that I thought I might as well just use. It's not really a lot of paint here, just hopefully there's enough to do this one little canvas. Um, now I did add just just a blob of paint to this mix because the swipe mix was one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint a little bit on the thin side so i've just as i said added a tiny little bit more paint i gave it one more drop of silicone oil stirred it all up and we'll see what we get eh? there just wasn't enough paint to do a another big pour hopefully this will be enough. Just something fun to use up leftover paint, same. I really enjoyed doing that swipe. It was very messy and I'm sorry the video was so long. <gasps> My goodness. But uh, yeah, I just wasn't happy with it. Hope you guys saw it, hope you know what I'm talking about. Now my camera up there, my phone, it's on 14% so of the battery. So I'm going to get a riddle on, get this done, before I lose it. Now, I don't have any oil in this cup. I haven't sprayed it, I should say. But it um, should still work nonetheless. Plenty of paint there. I only need about 250 grams of mixed paint for this size canvas. Who knows if it's going to work very well because A, my ratios are out because I just sort of added a bit of paint. B, I added silicone, added more paint, stirred, added more silicone, stirred. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a mishmash, but let's see what happens, hey? It's just paint. I can always scrape it. Alrighty, that's looking pretty. But you guys know I like my blues and greens, hey? I sure do. Just give that a little bit of a move around. And then I'm going to torch. Where did I put my torch? Behind me. This mix may still be a little bit thinner than what I would normally use. Um, as I said, because I didn't make it up specifically for a flip cup. I made it for a swipe. So, see what happens. Oh, I've got a bit close there. Look at that, a bit close. All right, here, yeah. less is more, she says, as she tortures again. I just saw a bubble over there. Okay. Um, now, obviously, I'm going to get that bit off because that's where my cup sort of, that was the end of the cup. Let's go around here. Big blobby thing happening in the middle. I've been having trouble with my navy and my white for some reason. 
The navy is a transparent colour. The white is an opaque colour. And for some reason, they're just not playing nice to each other. Ever since Global, well, they must have changed their thickness. The Cool Blue used to be a really, really thick paint. Used to be able to have to, you know, scoop it out of the tub. Uh, but the last bottle I got, it's really quite liquid. It just pours out. So I don't know what they've done, but they've changed something. Maybe it doesn't have as many pigments. It's just thinner and uh, it splits. So I don't know what you've done global, but I'm not happy. I'm not happy, Jan. <laughs> And I would have to have the big blobby thing right in the middle, wouldn't I? Right in the middle. Probably could have done with a little bit more paint, actually, you know, because I'm really having to stretch this out. I was kind of hoping to get rid of that blobby thing. Maybe I can. Because it is really, really unattractive. But it's right in the middle. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Never mind. Like I said, it was just leftover paint. I would have probably thrown it out. I'll no doubt scrape that because it's ugly. Just take some of that blue off there. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if I can get the big blob off. Let's torch again, bring up some smaller cells and then see if I can maybe get that blob off. Probably going to ruin the whole thing. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Lesson learned. Make sure you weigh everything. It just works out better that way. Yeah, I, I really like that area there and this area here. Those are really pretty cells. It's just that. Don't like you. Anyway, it's fine. It can stay. Um, I'll scrape this canvas, little canvas. I'll use it again. Alrighty, I'll take you in for a close-up. Oh. Just noticed there that I haven't gone over. Ah, doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm going to scrape it anyway. I just wanted to have a bit of a play with leftover paint. There you go, you can have a little look at that while I throw a bit of paint on the sides. You can see what I mean about that big blobby white bit in the middle there. Um, yeah, it's just that was the light, the, the navy blue. For some reason, it's just splitting. And it's only done it since uh, Global's changed the thickness of their blue because I've been using Global for a long time and I haven't had this problem before so I don't know what they've done. Well I do know what they've done, they've made their blue thinner which is very annoying. There you go. Happy with that? <laughs> uh, so that's what it looks like anyway with a slightly thinner mix. You get your cells a little bit bigger, they're a little bit more wonky uh, because they've got more, you know, they don't have as much resistance on them so they can sort of spread out a little bit more. Okay, I'll leave it there. Um, next time I'll weigh my paints properly and do a, a nice pour for you. <laughs> All right, see you later.